beat on songs. That's, 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 that's probably the better thing. <laughs> they actually migrated from Maine. Yeah. Ty, uh, what do you think? Did you call J-Love or what? I mean, I think <laughs> so. But, I, Aaron, I did want to ask you. You never really had a situation like this, but – Matt Floor mentioned, especially after last week, but then again this week, you said, like, you know, I don't really think people realize how difficult it is to do what Malik Willis has done the last two weeks with only being there for 16 or 18 days. Shot of one, first and foremost. I'd like to give all praise and send glory and honor to. Tell you how about Shem, you have a Shad, by Shem, a Kakadash, and a heavy father, two names that you have. When his son begat the son, Baha Shem, named Hamashiach Abishai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwa Kadash Lotan. And I say Barakatham to the uh, elders, Rock and Rockwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson of 2nd Edges 9 verse 8. And that's going to be the title of the sit down lesson. And this is out of the book of 2nd Edges chapter 9 verse 8 from the Apocrypha books of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, She'll be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right, so the Heavenly Father has sanctified the uh, Israelites from the beginning, you know, from our uh, forefathers. Of the prophets of old, when they was on the scene, all the way to the uh, Israelites in modern day times. Because it makes perfect sense, because you read the book of Amos, the third chapter, you know, the Heavenly Father. Uh, he's speaking to the children of Israel, you know, just like it says in the book of Amos, the third chapter, the Heavenly Father revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets of Israel. So he's going to say, he's going to uh, preserve those that's going to be saved from the sad perils, you know, especially the like minded of our uh, elders, the servants and prophets and messengers, the ambassadors of the Heavenly Father, you know. I think a lot of people question the second edge of the verse 8 shall be preserved from the sad perils. And shall see my salvation, right? Because the kingdom of heaven is within the Israelites. So that shows you that, like it says in Daniel 7, verse 18, the saints of the Most High should take the kingdom and shall possess it forever and ever. Because the, the kingdom of heaven was going to give to heaven fathers, his descendants of his people, the Israelites. Because the kingdom of heaven is within them, the Israelites. Because you know. he's only in the midst of his people, the children of Israel. So the uh, servers and prophets and messengers, you know, they're going to be saved from the said perils. And Ottawa Rocks, uh, that definitely, Ottawa Rocks, uh, that hopefully that definitely be the case, you know. Especially, uh, you know, the uh, elders were you know, in modern day times, you know, uh, prophesying on the highways and edges or wherever, you know, we're scattered at because Israel should be a sin to see. And that's why we see in Matthew 24, verse 14 of the gospel of the kingdom of the heavenly body, how it's being brought up what the four corners of earth. Uh, witness unto all nations, then the end shall come. So I don't want to side that the uh, elders will Akim that be preserved from said parables. I don't want to side, you know, Yahweh will. Second Edges chapter 9 verse 8 shall be preserved from said perils and shall see my salvation in my land within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was an uh, edifying of uh, Second Edges chapter 9 verse 8. That's going to be the that was the title of the sit down lesson. So, with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and the Son of the Son, Bahashem, and the name Hamashiach, Havashai. Those are their true names in the ancient Pele of Hebrew, the last one of the last of And I say, Barakatham, to the uh, elders, for Akima Akwaf, till next time, I will say, Shalom. Solutions of poverty.